Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force. Since last time, I got some uh, force points by doing a Lake Soleil Harvest Run. That's why I got some narcissists, so that's how I got all those force points. I also crafted the Force Comb for Cecilia there. The nice thing about it is that it boosts your force by 15, so that'll really help out with her all of her attacks and healing and everything like that. So it's really nice for her. So, let's head on back to the Endless Sands and see if we can find a way to get to uh, the Dragon's Abyss there. Now, one thing I did here off-screen was, uh, well, first off, I killed a couple enemies here, so I'm just going to skip them for now. But uh, the thing is, is that the reason why I went here for, in the first place is I got a couple more Slash Feathers, so I wanted to save after that, but I didn't realize that I got this treasure here, which is no longer there. If you scan in the middle of that area, you'll find five star sands, but I already got that off screen, so. Whoops. Oh well. But anyway, here you can get purple lapises or star sands, depending, well, on how your luck is. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. Yeah, just leave it alone. Or you could remember where that was. As you can see, the map isn't really useful. So I'm going to guide you the way you're supposed to go. Uh, there's also an ASCII map in my text walkthrough there. So if you want to use that, you can. It may not be 100% accurate since I don't exactly know, but that's just based on what I thought. Okay, let's see. What did I get there? The Invigorating War. Yeah, it restores some RP. It's like an ether, but I figure the fourth points are better. So... Yeah, not really a huge fan of uh, RP restoring items. Okay, how's it going? Ah, it's like lizard dragon people or something like that. Yeah, well, he's got the badass turban though. There were a way that we could infuse some force into those things. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, no one wants to get lost here. Okay, so now we just follow this path up here. No, uh, flower. Oh, there's one. Let's try this. Hmm, that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. We don't want to go up there yet, so let's go over here first. Oh, by the way, uh, after that last battle there, I used up my blaze cane, so let's do that. We've already got a couple igneous orbs, so let's craft another blaze cane for her. Now, you don't want to waste those things, but it is going to be pretty useful here. Oddly enough, even though we're in a desert, there's a lot of enemies here that are weak to fire. Huh. Let me see if I scan this, if that does something. No, it's not the right one either. Well, before trying to find the right flower, let's go through here, through a secret passage. So now we're going to the right there. Look at my mini-map to see where I'm going, because I know you can't quite see where I'm going, but I know where, the, where I'm going. Okay, now, no matter what you do, you're going to be going pretty slow through here. Let's, see, let's scan here. Ha-ha! In here... I can get it. Yes, we get a couple white lapises. All right, those things are kind of hard to find. Not that I'm really going to use them, but they're there. Hmm, there's a cactus here. Let's see if we can get something from it. I do declare. Uh, huh? A talking cactus? Well, we have flying squirrels, so why not talking cactuses? Or cacti, or... Whatever the plural is for them. Okay, it's cacti. Very well, then. Is that supposed to be like a pun for the name? I don't know. If it is, you're not doing a very good job, game. Come on, bring it on! Give me the puns! Oh, 
your cactus. Hmm. Sure. Well, this is a new side quest that we got here. So, uh, the best items you can give Penelope are Lymphos fluids that you can win from those shades that we fought back at uh, the Altar of Nerval there. Royal liquids are next best, holy waters are next best, and so on. So for now, I'm just going to give her the uh, royal or the Lymphos fluid. And just like a harvest point, right now... Yeah, right now, we can't do anything, but just like a harvest point, after five battles, she will have... Uh, a need for more liquid in which case i'll give her a royal liquid and then i'll give her another holy well not a holy well, yeah maybe a holy water so i would recommend using the holy water that you got from faust here too oh yeah now i remember what i wanted to show you uh let's see yeah the desert lady side quest so yeah we're gonna be holding on to that one for a little while uh again if you if you don't want to spend your royal liquid here you could save it for later but I think it's a good idea. But you don't have to. I mean, the rewards for this side quest, they're unique and hard to get, but I don't plan on crafting anything with them. So anyway, you go down here. Ha-ha! That's where we're supposed to go. Okay, so, first things first, let's make it all the way over here. And save. And this place is pretty wide open, so hopefully I'll be able to show you where to go there. So anyway, let's go over here. And let's see, is this the way I came? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We want to go down a little bit, then hug the right wall, up and to the right. Yeah, this guy's kind of hard to find. Yeah, I missed this the first time I played the game. Finally a challenge. If the screen looks a little grainy to you, viewers, it's that way for me too. I'm gonna fast forward through this. Please don't kill him. Thank you. Hmm. What if I defended? Yeah, let's do that. I need to heal him up. Whoops. Okay, so Nightingale on him. That'll full heal him. Thanks for the help. Awesome. Now let's use Gaia Shockwave. Uh, these guys are also weak to water, but I would never use that. Now the thing with uh, the the those sandworms there is that uh, there's four such battles around here, not including the force site. And if you kill all of them, it'll weaken the boss, but it'll give less experience. But if you uh, don't kill all of them, the boss will be stronger, and it will uh, give a lot more experience. So I'm not going to kill them all. Let's go about halfway up this sand pool, and then scan. Yeah, this one's really tricky to find here, but we get a glowing metal. Awesome. Let's get out of here, then. Uh, okay, there we are. So let's see, we got that. Let's grab this. White lapis. Awesome. And then we got another fourth site. Let's do it! For mini boss time! I'll One other thing about the go. boss here, like I was saying, like depending on whether you decide to uh, kill all the worms or not. Oh, that really sucks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that really sucks. Hmm, let's uh, use prominence on him. He's weak to fire, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. I wouldn't have used that, but uh, Raphael's asleep right now, so he can't use his Gaia Chakra. And apparently, these enemies are remotely intelligent, so, whoops. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep going. Please don't kill me. Unfortunately, I don't think I can cure that, can Oh. Well, I suppose now it doesn't matter. Okay, we got him. Woohoo! What was I saying? Mm, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, for clearing this foresight, we get the energy mist. Awesome. So, let's heal up there. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, with the two possible forms of the boss of this area that I was telling you about, those are two separate bestiary entries. So you'll have to do kill one form in one playthrough and the other form in another playthrough. Although, aside from stats and what you get out of it, it 
the difference is not really that big, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, let's see. We want to go down here. Do I want to kill that one? I'm trying to remember here. Let's see. Okay, we got that. We got that. Oh. Okay. We want to kill these guys. Okay, I actually reloaded my save file because that isn't the one I want to kill there. So I just redid a couple things. But uh, good thing I saved there, huh? Okay, and after killing them, let's scan the area. Ooh, right over there. Oh, if I can actually grab it. Okay, we get another Banero. That's the only other place in the game that you can get a Banero pepper. So the only other way you're going to get more of them is by, well, harvesting them. So let's see. We got that. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was already up there. Let's see, we want to go northeast, I think. Right? Okay, let's go this way. Ah, there they are. And let's kill these guys. Okay, and after defeating those guys, scan here. Oh! Huh! I thought it was this one. I must have, uh, not gone far northeast enough, I guess. But anyway, okay, so we get a Cappy Doll. Huh. That's not what I have here in my walkthrough. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe the treasure changes. Or is random or something. I don't know. Huh. That's weird. Well, anyway, maybe I gotta rewrite my walkthrough. Not to keep on falling back when I think I'm out. I, I try to get out. Every time I get out, it just sucks me back in. Just like Magic the Gathering. No one ever quits Magic the Gathering. You, you just take an extended break. So anyway, to move on with the dungeon, we want to go through here. So let's see. What I want to do is I want to go back to Penelope there. So let's go do that. I want to give her uh, a royal liquid this time around. You could wait until you get another Lymphos Fluid, but that's kind of hard to do on Cecilia's path relatively quickly, so I'm going to go with a Royal Liquid instead. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, your walkthrough says to give them Holy Waters. Well, that was one thing that I uh, decided to change as I was uh, making this LP, so I will update the walkthrough to reflect that if you're reading it as of the day of this walk or this video there. So anyway... Now we want to give her some more. So let's do that. Let's give her the royal liquid then. And once you've fed her enough, you will somewhat complete the side quest. But you'll see what happens when we do that. So, okay. Well, that's everything I want to do here right now. I want to make another Lake Soleil Harvest Run because we won't get another chance after finishing this area. So uh, I'll just take... Uh, I'll just go back there, do that, make my way back to the save point, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back at the save point here. Uh, remember, in order to get back here, you gotta go uh, southwest on the second screen first. So we're kind of back to where we started here. Now remember, I wanted to leave one of those sandworms alive for the boss here. So now we go southeast, just like we did before. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've had enough killing enemies today. Or I could kill more right now. Why not? But anyway, you go up here. You don't have to scan these things, but I'm just doing it just to show you. How does that even work? Well, anyway, yeah, you go up here now, and you're back here. Now we can actually move on. So, yeah, I don't need to save. We're all healed up. Uh, one thing I do want to do, let's take a look at what I got. Okay, we got a Hydra Cane there. I want to make another one. So let's go Aqua Orb. Then Hydra King. Okay. Let's see, let's see what all that crap. Let's see. Sort them. Sort them! Thank you. Okay, we get two Hydra Kings. Two. Two Hydra Kings. Ah, ah, ah. So, let's head on up here then. You want to make sure you got those Hydra Kings on uh, Cecilia there. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Welcome to Final Fantasy XII. Didn't you bring some water with you? Out of the frying pan and uh, into the fire. Something like that, I don't know. However the expression goes.
You look so determined. Room service. Room service. No. Hmm. I'm pretty far from there. What's going on? Whoa! Sandworms! Yeah, it's got sandworms coming out of its sides. This is the mother load. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Simmer down, will ya? Okay, so run. For boss time! Or we can take this guy on. Ew, get away! <laughs> Come on, we can take him! No, actually we can't. So. Okay, first things first. Uh, let's see. I want you to use uh, Gaia's Shockwave there. So let's do that. Fortunately, he is weak to that. Okay, now this might inflict darkness. But don't worry about that because he's going to be, we're going to kill him pretty fast. So let's use Frozen Dust on him. Now, the version I'm fighting is 3600 HP. If you don't, or if you do kill all of them, then he'll only have like 2800 HP. But that's still okay. Either way, the strategy, the same strategy applies. He's got a shockwave, frozen dust, that will uh, get the job done. Maybe we should try dire assault. It deals more damage as you get lower on HP, and it's actually pretty powerful. If you can actually hit him with it, but I've been uh, blinded. So, one more of these ought to do. Yeah! Got it. That's why I didn't bother curing darkness, because we can kill the, well, her, I guess, rather easily. Right. We're on a roll. Hmm? I feel different. Yeah, look at that experience. Oh, hey, I'm an energy mist. All right, I want to convert that. All right. I hope so too. Yes. And they died. Or not. I thought about cliffhanging the interviews, but I actually want to be able to save after this. So. Oh wow. What's with all this junk in here? What is this, like the Leviathan in Final Fantasy 2? Yeah, pretty much. And they're gonna poop us out. It's one way to get out of here. Hmm. Oh man, none of these seem like good options. Well, at least I picked the option that gave me a facepalm. Or we could try to get out of here. Ooh, this is unfair. Ooh. Shut up. Maybe. What are you going to do? Light a raft on fire so it'll sneeze you out? No. No, that's another game. You're still alive? Yeah, absolutely. Preferably not. Ah, now you're determined. Just need to give her a good little push there. But can we ever find a way to get out of this mother worm? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.